Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. What do you want from me? No monkey. Duke Mungus, and we're back today with another Among Us tip. Ain't the bad be looking good. You're really not picking up on camera, but this bike is extremely dirty. Uh, so we just finished up with the Duke Mungus event, man. Huge shout out no to everyone monkey. that showed up. Everyone that wanted to show up, man, it was it was freaking epic. But we're going to get into that a little bit later. So what I wanted to talk about is Phase Two is officially done with this bike so with the mungus event we put over 700 miles on this bike and this bike the rear tire is now toast you get the, look at that the rear tire is now toast it's literally you see it's right there on top of the wear indicator like there it's literally even this rear tire is toast so now that phase two is over and the event is over it is time to go for stage three and that means installing parts and going back to the dyno. So I literally have to get this bike ready to go to the dyno. And one thing I'm going to do is make sure I have good tires on this bike. So I'm going through like a little checklist to make sure this bike is ready. And also, you're going to see this bike in rare form. You see all this? The last day actually got caught in a little bit of rain coming back down from Fort Mountain. And this bike is literally filthy filthy so something i'm gonna do not only am i gonna make sure that i have good tires on the bike i'm also gonna clean this bike because you don't expect anything bad or you don't want anything bad to happen while you're on the dyno but at least you want your bike to be clean so god forbid if something does go wrong it is super easy to find you'd be like yo this bike was spotless but you know what there's an oil leak coming from here or that right there is rattling or something like that. And something else you got to make sure you do, you gotta have good meat on your tires when you're going to get dyno. So that tire is actually not gonna make it. We actually did a couple of pulls and my bike started spinning. Um, so that tire is just toast. And me, I'm weird. I like, the front is still good, but I like changing my tires as a set. So these front tires are coming off too, uh, wifey, she just like, yo, if you change in one tire, just go in and change them both. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not even mad at that. <laughs> I already got my, uh, excuse me, G-Raj. I already got my front tire ready in here. My rear tire is on the way. So we're gonna get this changed up and get it ready to go. So make sure you go through a checklist before you take your bike to a dyno. Make it easier on your tuner by going through a checklist. Make sure you got good spark plugs. Make sure your air filter's good. Make sure your tires are good. If you can, make sure your tire pressure is good. Make sure you have good petrol, you know, in your um, in your bike, and not just good petrol. Go ahead and fill up the tank before you take it to the to the tuner, unless you're tuning on MR12 or something, and then they can do that. Um, you can buy the can; they can do it right before they tune. But if you're using regular 93 petrol, fill, fill your bike up before you take it to them. Don't be sending it to them on a quarter tank or empty tank and be like yeah tune my bike and then they got to put gas make it easy on the man you know what i'm saying like try to make it as problem free as possible when i take this bike to Kaler Maid, all of the parts will be installed that they need that they can get to going now that's me because i have a little mechanical skill and i can you know i can install some parts and i have some friends that can help me install some parts before i take it to the shop but dude if you can install it and you can do it right and you can do it clean Dude, install a part and make it, make it, make it easy on them. And daggum, get them some daggum petrol. I know when I got my bike tuned last time, and I'm about to get out of here. When I got my bike tuned last time, I dropped it off with a full tank. When I got it back, it was a little bit under half a tank. So, dude, they, they use some petrol to tune it. But anyway, that's my mungus tip for you guys today. Make sure your bike is ready before you take it to the dyno. But anyway, that's my mungus tip for you guys today. Look, y'all keep rocking with me. You know who it is. It's your boy, Two Monkeys. No monkey. Blue Chocolata. Thank you for watching, dude. No monkey. No monkey. Thank you for watching, dude. No monkey.